So most countries are seeing increases of around two years in life expectancy at birth um, every 10 years. So every 10 years, life expectancy increases by around two years. And in Spain, that's been uh, kept up. In the UK, we've slowed down over the last two years, but it might just be a blip. I think we're getting better at um, saving people. Um, we've got rid of a lot of the premature mortality. Um, so the gains that we're seeing are gains in uh, old age mortality. And the um, modal age at death has been increasing and is now around 90. And there's also been concentrated more around 90. France and Italy and Spain have some of the longest life expectancies in Europe. Um, but, but they vary within countries as well as between countries. Um, and, and, and why should they be all the same um, amongst all the countries? Because we are very different and it's not just on health systems, it's on diet, physical activity. Um, no, we don't. Uh, and I think we're getting very mixed messages. Um, I think there's some clarity um, between uh, what we should eat. Um, there's less clarity about how much exercise and what sort of exercise. Um, but I think it's pretty clear that obesity is uh, a risk factor uh, for disease and for disability. Um, and some countries have more of that than others. Across Europe as a whole, healthy life expectancy is not keeping pace with life expectancy. And healthy life expectancy at age 65 is certainly very flat compared with the increase in life expectancy. Um, in Spain, for the last couple of years, you've been keeping pace, mm -hmm. which is good. Um, in Britain, um, not so much. Uh, and and I think in other countries, it varies much more than life expectancy. Yeah, I think it is going to be a problem in some countries and it's certainly going to be a problem in some areas in some countries. Um, and the UK is a very good example of that because there are some um, areas, regions in the UK, where uh, disability-free life expectancy is less than 65. Mm -hmm. Disability-free life expectancy at birth is uh, the age of onset of disability is less than 65. And so people are disabled before they finish work. Um, and so that is a problem because we're having to extend our working life, as you said, to um, keep pace with the pensions. The inequalities are increasing um, now. Inequalities in disability-free life expectancy at birth are 18 years between the worst and the best area in the UK. Yes, it, it, it has been one of the reasons why we have seen um, a decline in the prevalence of dementia and the incidence of dementia over the last 20 years. They're going up in terms of the number of people with them, but the likelihood of you getting it is going down. And it's going up because these diseases are diseases which you're much more likely to get the older you are. And we're seeing very many more very old people. And so there are more people within those risk groups. Um, and so the numbers are going up but the actual proportion of people with it's going down. They shouldn't be smoking. They should be taking alcohol moderately. Um, they should be having a balanced diet um, that is um, rich in protein to help recovery of, of uh, muscles. Um, to be doing exercise on a regular basis, and that can be walking. Um, it, it doesn't have to be going to the gym. Um, 
They should be socially engaged as well. So they should be doing something to keep their brain active, uh, learning a new language, perhaps Spanish. <laughs>